when we combine God's wisdom with love, we get an unbeatable force designed to protect us and defend us from evil. Top of the morning to you. When we read the Bible and come across the word wisdom, and we try to understand it with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we find wisdom is defined as skillful in war, skill in administration, skill in religious affairs, and supreme intelligence. The Bible talks about several types of wisdom, including wisdom of the world, which 1 Corinthians 1.20 says God considers foolishness, or 2 Corinthians 1.12, fleshly wisdom, which James 3.14-15 says is based in bitter envy, selfishness, and pride. Its source is uh, earthly, sensual, and demonic. Then there's godly wisdom. James 3.17 says this wisdom comes from above and is first pure, then full of peace, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Proverbs 4.7 tells us to make it a priority in our lives to get this kind of wisdom. Proverbs 8.11 says this wisdom is better than rubies, and 16.16 says it's even better than gold. Where do we get this wisdom? 1 Corinthians 1.24 Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. This wisdom is ours for the asking. All we need to do is hold God in reverence and awe. In other words, Proverbs 9 and 10, Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 2, 6 says, The Lord gives wisdom. He stores it up for the righteous. That's those who are right standing with the Lord. James 1, 5 says, If any lack wisdom, let him ask God, who gives liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. God throws an incentive in Proverbs one twenty three. Those seeking wisdom or godly wisdom are richly rewarded. Proverbs three thirteen, and happy is the one who finds wisdom. One Corinthians two five warns us: Your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Proverbs nine ten combines the ideas of godly wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Understanding comes from God's Word, knowledge from the experience that God provides, and wisdom is the accumulation of both understanding and knowledge. It is a very valuable commodity to have. It's hard won and only developed over much time alone with our God in the secret place. Proverbs 2 6 For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Word of encouragement. Solomon wrote a lot of the Proverbs. 1 Kings 4.29 says, God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight. And he emphatically tells us in Proverbs 4.5, Get wisdom. Get understanding. Don't forget my words. Verse 6, If we don't forget wisdom, she will protect us. Love wisdom and she will watch over us. So when we combine wisdom with love, we get an unbeatable force designed to look out for our own good. Have a great day.